Hey, welcome. I'm not going to be really doing any work work in this one, so this should be a quick video. I just wanted to show you guys something that I had tried and how it worked out for me. Oh, he's sitting right up here. Great. I didn't grab him beforehand, but the um, Xenophase sword right here. If you don't have access to Necron bits or swords or something that you can kind of work this out with or access to, well, basically the Xenophase sword, like a couple of them. You want a couple of them in your army for some reason. Um, as you can see right here, I've got some, let's show up the camera, there's some green there from a dry erase marker. And the reason for that is what I did is I took these, these pike-like weapons here from the purifiers. Now you can take any single-edged blade that they have. See, it's just got the one edge. It's not like, um, where's that sick guy? This guy with his two-edged blade there. That That's not really going to work for you. But there are some knives right here, or, or smaller swords, that are single-edged power swords that you can, you can get a close facsimile to as well. And uh, here's what I did, but I basically used this pike, and what I did is I laid the Xenophase sword over it, and then used that dry erase to basically mark on the bottom blade, sort of rough area that I needed to carve away. And then the green's still on there, I gotta get some alcohol. For some reason that dry erase likes to stick to this plastic. But you can see I cut it away, little by little. And it, it's pretty close. Once it's painted up, it won't be so bad. I had to um, cut the hand off the bottom and then cut the shaft and then glue this little palm over here and glue the hand straight to the to the sword on the end here like this. Like that. And it's not 100%, but it's pretty good, I think, for a very first attempt at kind of a hack and try and make it work kind of thing. You could also, if you were... Um, like I said, you could use this little sword. It's about the same size as what I created right here. Kind of almost nearly exactly. But uh, the blade seems... Is the blade... The blade's a little smaller. Just not much, but a little teeny bit smaller. So you'd have to go less digging in and such not. But then you could paint it up and you could just do some designs on it or something to make it a Xenophase sword. If you wanted to carve it in it. I guess you could if you had those skills. I don't and I don't want to risk breaking the blade as you can I don't know if you can see on the camera some some of the white stress it's hard to see. Yeah the stress marks there if you can see them where when I was cutting it was, it was putting some stress there and I was like oh I gotta care about I don't want to break it so yeah that that might be an issue as well but I just wanted to show you guys that let you know um, you can kind of Make up your own Xenophase sword if you need it. This was just kind of a can I do it thing. I'm not even sure if it will go on a model. But if it does uh, go on a sergeant or something like that, then I have it right here if I need it later on to put on my guy. Alrighty, guys. If you liked the video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. I answer those as soon as I can and if you need me to. If you don't need me to, just say Eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, whatever. I try to answer them as soon as I can. And um, I hope that um, you guys are having fun watching these because I'm having fun making them. Alrighty, that's about it. I'll talk to you later.